What the Federal Reserve has done to our economy has been nothing short of a train wreck. In just the first few quarters of the Great Recession, the American people's net worth collapsed by $16 trillion. That's more than the entire GDP of the country was at the time. Enough to pay off all of the federal debt then and still have more than $6 trillion left over. It's been a calamity for the history books. People saw more than 5 million of their homes lost to foreclosures. Others burned through a lifetime of savings just to keep going. Eight or nine million people lost jobs while other jobs shrank from full-time to part-time. Let me show it to you this way. The blue line on this chart shows what's happened to median household income since the Fed's housing bubble popped. The red line shows you what's happened to federal debt as it rocketed up from less than $10 trillion to over $18 trillion today. But that's only part of the story. Look at the impact of the world's central banks and their policies on the wealth gap as their cronies get richer and richer at the expense of the people. Now the trend line headed up is the top 1%. Needless to say, with bailouts and the Fed stovepiping new money their way, they have done very well indeed. But the line headed down represents you. Much of this dynamic was thanks to a train wreck that the governing classes the fiscal and monetary authorities, and their lapdog press would like you to believe that nobody saw coming. And that is just another falsehood in a long line of establishment malarkey. Hi, I'm Charles Goyette, and I'm here to ask for your help with an important new documentary designed to set the record straight, a real eye-opener for most people about Ron Paul's battle with the empire of lies. One of the most important battles Ron Paul waged was with the Federal Reserve System. So let's talk about that. Because when the establishment tells you that nobody saw the biggest collapse of prosperity since the Great Depression, as it loomed up before us, that nobody saw it coming, all we need to do is back up the tape. It's true that the big government, money printing, spend our way to prosperity Keynesians didn't see it coming. But the free market, sound money, and Austrian school economists like Ron Paul certainly did. Now here's what then Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said even as the bubble was burst. What is the worst case scenario if in fact we were to see prices come down substantially across the country? Well, I, I guess I don't buy your premise. It's a pretty unlikely possibility. We've never had a decline in house prices on a nationwide, bu nationwide basis. So what I think is more likely is that the house prices will slow, maybe stabilize, might slow consumption spending a bit. I don't think it's going to drive the economy too far from its full employment path, though. Now, that was in 2006. The next year, in 2007, he testified that the subprime bubble was contained. Bernanke wasn't even close. Well. How about Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan before him? It's very hard to see how Greenspan could possibly have missed it since home mortgage debt grew from $1.8 trillion to over $8 trillion on his watch. But miss it he did. I was aware that a lot of these practices were going on. I had no notion of how significant they had become until very late. I didn't really get it. Greenspan says nobody got it. And that has been the mantra of the governing classes and their media lapdogs all of this time. And as you would expect in the empire of lies, it's a self-serving account. But it's not true. Congressman Ron Paul didn't miss it. His repeated warnings in Congress described in detail and with uncanny precision the way the housing bubble would pop and usher in the Great Recession. But see for yourself. Instead of the newly inflated money being directed toward the stock market, it now finds its way into the rapidly expanding real estate bubble. This too will burst as all bubbles do. The Fed, the Congress, or even foreign investors can't prevent the collapse of this bubble. Concerned Federal Reserve economists are struggling to understand how the wealth effect of the stock market and real estate bubbles affect economic activity and consumer spending. 
It should be no mystery, but it would be too much to expect the Fed to look to itself and its monetary policy for an explanation and assume responsibility for engineering the entire financial mess we're in. The Fed never admits it, and the Congress disregards it out of ignorance, but the serious harm done by artificially low interest rates leading to the malinvestment, overcapacity, excessive debt, and speculation are the distortions that always guarantees the next recession. Economic adjustments wouldn't be so bad as many wild recessions have proven, except that wealth is inexorably and unfairly transferred from the middle and the poor, middle class and the poor, to the rich. The urgency to make this important film now is not just to be able to say, we told you so. It's much more critical than that. The fiscal and monetary problems that slammed the American dream and delivered so much pain to so many have actually gotten larger. Well, no wonder. The same people and the same failed philosophy are still in charge. That means that the next calamity will be much bigger and much worse than the last one. I visited with Ron recently and talked about when we could expect the next one, the big one, to hit. His answer? Not long. It's going to come suddenly. I think the foundation is completely gone. I think I'd be surprised if it goes five more years. That event that's coming, uh, I don't think anybody knows when it'll be, but uh, it's, it's not, uh, you know, a decade or a generation off. Uh, you, you know, I think it's uh, rapidly approaching. As Ron Paul has alerted us for so long, our prosperity is slipping away and the pace is quickening. That's why I'm asking for your help with an important new documentary about America's most effective champion of liberty, Ron Paul. It's time now for the whole story to be told in a feature-length, theatrical-quality documentary. We simply don't have long to get the truth out. With your help, we'll tell the story of Ron Paul's battle with the empire of lies now, before it's too late. Click the button on your screen. It'll take you to our Kickstarter page and make it easy to join in and help the Ron Paul revolution. It'll also tell you about the rewards that we'd like to share with you as a token of our thanks. Oh, and please share this message with your friends and family.